All right, so WrestleMania coming up, and I guess it's a good time to almost take a little bit of look back at the year. And the thing I want to focus on in this thing is these long title reigns that we have been having. And is it a good or bad thing? Will they continue? That sort of thing. So, of course, we got, like, Roman that's, like, at, like, 1,300. We got Gunther that's that's over 600. I think Rhea is, uh like, like over, like, Four, maybe you can remember I'm wrong. EO's over two. Um, yeah, so I was like, that's the main one because I was like, the US title sort of had pretty much had like a two, three months type of reign here, and then nobody really held it crazy long. Um, and the tag team titles, the women's tag team titles, not the same thing either. So, all right, so one, will this continue after WrestleMania? I'm gonna say, yeah. Um, mainly because I don't see Gunther losing at, uh, WrestleMania. I don't see Rhea losing at WrestleMania. EO's on the fence. Uh, I was like, I feel like it was very quick to say, hey, Bailey's going to win this. But then also, too, EO, the way EO's reign has been at the same time is kind of like, hmm. And she could sort of be helped with having a big, like, win over someone like Bailey. You know, the same way that, like, they're pushing Rhea to beat Becky is because, you know, like, you want to get the young, the next, sort of like the next generation, those proper win to solidify that they're a main threat. Uh, kind of, like, you know, like, solidify them more so. That, you know, not saying that, you know, the four horse or the original horse women won't win a title again but you want to at least solidify that it's like all right cool they're in this reign and they're the next up and stuff like that so that's why i'm like eo's kind of difficult with that one to give it to bailey and damage control in general and we sort of got to look see that damage control is going to pretty much face off against like jay bianca and naomi and you imagine that they're going to win i was like bianca wins all the time really Jay's new, so she got to have a win. Naomi just really came back, so you so you're going to try to give her her a good WrestleMania win. Uh, so that's why it's like, okay, if they win, then Bailey wins. I guess that can, you know. Or I was like, but the Kabuki Warriors still had the tag team titles. Anyway, uh, Roman and Cody. I'm not gonna lie. If you would have told me when Royal Rumble happened, and even you would have told me. A little bit before The Rock started being like a heel, I would have been like, Cody. And even then, about like halfway through. Now I don't know. Just because now it's like Rock versus Cody more so than Roman versus Cody. That it's sort of hard to say. Because I'm like, you could be like, okay, Cody wins and you set up rock in some way because we all assume that the tag team match is going to get be a loss and bloodline going to win that so cody wins with all the interference on uh this night too but then again so with that being said that we could have like a it's like i don't think we have a full slate of everybody retain their title just because you know, I was like, did a little bit of like give and take where it's like, okay, cool, we might do this over here, but we're not going, we won't give y'all the whole thing. You know, like how sometimes they're like, we want the faces to win this year or the heels win, that kind of thing. But looking in, looking with rear view, ha, I was like, had it been a good thing? Yeah, because before that, we wasn't really getting these long title reigns like this. Now, I was like, and at least not with a compelling story or compelling reasons behind it. It was just like, all right, keep them as champion. All right, keep them as champion. So I, I'll say that it's been good because of the storyline more so. Because, you know, uh, even though we've had flip-flop of, of titles at times, we also didn't have the story where we did leave it on people. But it's also been harmful in a way that I was like, that, I can see this year coming up that will people won't have the same type of title reign. It's not going to be a year long reign, I don't believe. And the reason I say that is because in all of this, 
and I sort of get it because Triple H has to sort of build up his build up his his new vision. You know, I was like one get Roman having like basically being the record, and that's why I sort of tricked to see if he beats Hogan record. Uh, Gunther establishing himself as a top tier talent, putting some respect on the Intercontinental Championship game. Uh, Rhea making herself one of the most dominant women in history. Um, you know, I was like, Bianca had it at a moment, too. I was like, making her one of the more dominant women in history. Uh, you know, and EO, too. I was like, that's a Triple H guy that you sort of could see that he's wanting to get establish her as well. Um, and you know, you've seen some of his other projects as well in there that you could see why he sort of been wanting to do it. But the reason I say it's harmful is that it's kind of like the same way that everybody sort of makes the argument of if Roman wins, then what? Like, who is he going to face? And nobody to face. He sort of done, done, you know, dominated them all. You know, he just wrecked everybody and leave. Uh, you can make the same thing with pretty much everybody else, though. Gunther had pretty much ran through. Like, yes, he, I was like, yes, there's still people like, for instance, like on SmackDown that he necessarily haven't faced. But he's ran through quite a bit of people. But he, I was like, but this, I mean, there's still some challenger, but he, he, he's done ran through a lot of top challengers. Uh, Rhea, there's real outside of Bianca. Who is it that she really like can face? Uh, you know, Bianca and Jade. You know, pretty much everybody else she's done sort of ran through. So it's like you, you, it, you know, Seth the same way. I forgot about Seth having the, the title for about almost a year. That. I was like, you, you're, you're running out of, you're running out of people to where you need to get the title off of him. Like Seth, for instance, he's beating Jay, he's beating Drew. I was like, he's beating Finn Balor, he's beating Shinsuke, uh, he's beating Sammy. Uh, I was like, hell, he was gonna beat Bronson Reed if we would have had the Elimination Chamber match. Uh, he's beating Damian Priest. I'm like, he's beating everybody. So it's almost like, whoa. What like what can you like what more can you really really do with him? Uh, Rhea, I was like beating newcomers always start. I was like beating. Uh, I was like I know not this. I was like no. I think in the one on one he she got Raquel being Nia Jax. We're assuming she's gonna be Becky Lynch. Um, uh, I was like I was like Shayna Baszler. I was like I don't know if they had a one on one. I know that she beat him on that five battle, like that bat, that battle royal or whatever, that pack or whatever that you want to call a five man match, but and I was like, she's she's beating Ivy Nile, she's beating Maxine Dupree. I'm like, she's beating some of the newer comers of people. So it's 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 one of them things where it's like, it's like it's cool that you're establishing like you know the people, but at the same time. You're, you're sort of running through the talent in a way that's like, you know, like people were hopeful that Shinsuke was going to be Seth the way that was set up. Finn being Seth. You know, like, how long how long is it some of these people that you're, you're going to have, like, not only not have necessarily the opponents to fight, but also not sort of regular, you know, because I'm like, at this point, do you feel like any of those people are going to win a, win a title? Like, you know, like say for somebody like Zoe Stark, she's young enough to where, yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll get she'll get her shot. Uh, Raquel, I think she'll end up getting a title shot too. I mean, a, t- a title win, I should say for them. Um, you know, then after that, like I said, um, and then like I said, with like you know, and then some of them you can't do because you want them have a big be like like how we waited so long to get Becky. It's because it had to be at the right time. You know, like, we was only going to get this here or probably SummerSlam. Um, so I'm like, with Bianca or Jade, that's going to be a big time event if they face Rhea. So that's another time of, if you don't put on somebody else. Uh, do we feel like Shinsuke or Finn is going to win the title ever? Probably not, no. Uh, I was like, while I, but I do have hopes for somebody like Sammy. Um, I was like, but then you got somebody like Gunther. Once Gunther gets the championship, then it's sort of a wrap because you sort of know that if he was holding the Intercontinental Championship this long, he being everybody ass, what you think he's going to do once he gets the main title? So, and I was like, so they might hold off on that one as well to keep him, 
with the title. Don't necessarily have him get beat so that when he's ready, then he can get the championship over whoever it is having it at that certain amount of time. So while I do think that the long title reigns have been a good thing because you had to establish not only the titles themselves, because you want to get the stink of whatever Vince McMahon was with all this stuff, but also uh, propping up the people themselves and making them, you know, I was like, I would say outside of self, because self was always pretty good, but you had to, but Roman had to sort of be repackaged, and, you know, to be the Trader's Tribal Chief. Uh, Gunther basically, you know, like, you know, in the old regime, he was like almost on the outs, but hey, now he looks like the monster that everybody knew he could be. Same with Rhea being the monster that which she could be. I was like, even though EO ain't had the same type of star that everybody else had, you're still putting a light on her with her damage control and all the other stuff, and she's going to have a WrestleMania match. You know, which nobody would have probably seen like a couple of years ago, even with somebody, you know, with that whole group. So it has enhanced that. And also, even I was like, and even though I'd say that they, that not that I was like, I don't like to say buried, but, you know, crushed the dreams of people hope, like the ones they picked to be hopeful about, even though that happened. It's also brought a light on them even in like losses because you're around the story and all that other stuff. So it, it's helped in them. So I was like, I can't say a definite yes that it was perfect. But I can't say that it's like it's it's been totally harmful. I was like, uh I think only if it how long it goes past WrestleMania. But in in totality, I was like probably a seventy five percent full glass was, and all this. I was like, you know, I guess at this point, I was like, maybe I, I, I took away my own argument. But I was like, it, it was it was a thought process in this whole thing. Anyway, let me know what you think. How do you feel about these long title reigns now that we're sort of coming up at the finale of what could be the end of them? And what do you think the next set will look like? Will it be just as long or will we have a lot more shorter, you know, like three, four months, that kind of thing reigns from here on out. You know, I was like, there's a lot of people that didn't, that doesn't really get their chance because of the long title reign, even though they are involved in the story. So let me know what you think. Anyway, I was like, on to WrestleMania. <laughs>